Shrolls here. Thank you for stopping by on my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope you like it here and subscribe. If you are my follower, welcome back. In this second series of Pepper Pack Slim Journal, I'm going to share my thought process in covering up the pepper packs. I already cut the Nana Sewing Room ephemera kit and sorted the delicate blossom and Nana Sewing Room digitals into portrait and landscape orientation. I also have the scraps from making this ephemera holder for Leo, music sheets, and book pages torn from another project I am currently working on. I added another paper bag after my first video of the series to make two signatures with nine sheets of paper bag each. Since there are lots of pages to work on, I'm not going to show all my gluing or tearing process. I might also speed up some process so this video won't get too long. I pre-arranged my work surface. I'm going to work on the cover last, so I'm going to put that aside and the second signature. Now let's just work on the first signature. And for this first page, I don't want this bokeh works to show, so I'm going to cover it up. Let's put this one here for now. We'll just work a sheet by a sheet. Let's see. I'm looking for some pepper to go with it. Do I want this one? No. Oh, I like this one. I will just use this. The width is almost perfect. I just need to trim up a little bit later. And this top and bottom part, I can leave it like this. So it can be used for writing spot. But I think I want to cover it up with some scraps here. Let's see. Oh, I like this one. Be cute and for the bottom do I want to cover it or leave it like this let's just cover it up for now I might change my mind later so this will be like this and this like not perfectly covering up the paper bag there's a little bit gap and I can just use my lace letter to cover it up so now I'm just going to use paper clip to put them together so in the next step I'll just glue and glue and pairing and the other side I'm just going to keep it like this because I like to leave writing spot so this sheet is done and the next one I don't want this to show and about the other side yeah totally don't want this so I'm just to cover this up let's see I think I want to make this into a corner tuck spot so I'm looking into my ephemera here to see what will work for it like this or no actually this one is super cute so I'm just going to use this one perfect this and the other side what will look cute on that if I have something else here Ooh, this is nice yeah let's use this one and this is looking plain and later I will of course put some more collage or something just to spice it up and this one I want to keep it plain as a writing spot so that's done and this third sheet I think I don't want this as well I want to cover this up so I'm going to make it into a tuck spot a bottom tuck spot let's see what do I have here that will work that's cute that's something else oh look at this no something here nope how about this one? Ooh. this one or this one I think I will leave this one and this one I it's kind of torn a little bit it looks ugly I want to cover it up with something let's see the other side no nope. oh this one will look cute this cuts a uh, winder looking thingy it's already like a working so let's just use this one that's cute and I can leave it on the other side as well just like this so I can leave it as a little tux but I'll just glue it down and put more decoration and the other side I might leave it as a tuck spot 
it will be cute and oops be, I will put it right there and this one I want to remember I want to keep it as a trifold but yeah I want to cover this thing I don't want it to show so let's find an ephemera or do I want to use a book like a page or a scrap to cover the wool thing yeah it look nice you can cover the wool thing like this and then later put lace on this edge yeah that's what I'm going to do with this this one goes here Ooh, this one is nice nice writing pages and this is nice writing page but this one is I don't like it so let's see what will go well here Ooh, how about this one this pretty dress just cover the whole thing also to thicken up this paper because it's pretty thin and it will make a really cute like, writing spot here another writing spot yep that's what I'm going to do and next one oh this is thick so not much I can I need to do here except for this one here so again looking into my ephemera to see what I can use to cover it up I have this cute thingy here oh look at this it's perfect kind of make a cute belly pen but it's kind of too low it doesn't really matter to have a low belly pen but then thing might fall off because it's too low I will keep it as a belly pen like this and later I might also put something on the bottom or maybe I should do it now let's see what will work for that like this nope mm -hmm. maybe one of these on the bottom here to catch the items that I put in the belly pen yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to put like this and here oh this is totally ugly yeah originally I plan to keep the handle here but the more I look into it the more I feel like yeah people will try to hold on the top and it won't look nice and might do something weird so I took it off and now I want to cover this up let's see what can we use oops this is smaller ephemera oh look at this this is so gorgeous oh it's perfect I'm almost perfect actually let's cover the whole thing like this it's a trifle so I can put lace on this side and for this bottom let's use a book page yeah it will work so that's what I'm going to do here so this page is done and next one so this page originally I kept the bottom of the paper bag to fold but it is too thick and I'm afraid my sewing machine will break my sewing machine needle will break so I changed my mind it will be a pocket it doesn't really bother me much of this showing actually and this one is not for a writing spot except for these staple holes so well I do have a lot of pages here so I don't really mind using them but I want to leave it as a writing spot so let's pick Ooh, what this one that's nice that's nice writing spot and on maybe I'll put it on the bottom like this and use another good page on the top and put some laces later that's nice that's what I'm going to do here and on this side still showing these holes here which I don't really like so I'm just going to cover it up with you know what let's use music sheet for this one it's really thick too 
Oh, nice. Yep. This is what I'm going to do with this page. And this is my additional uh, paper bag that I did to, to make put. Signature has even number of pepper. And this one it looks kind of, uh, there's just a little bit hair here. But otherwise, it's really nice for a writing spot. So I'm just going to make a little tuck spot here. Little tuck spot looks fine. And then later, I'm just going to build up on this tuck spot and maybe put some laces or something to cover these edges here. So that's done. And this one. Oh, yeah, I don't want this. Let's see. I have a bottom tuck spot already. I don't have the top one. So this one, uh, this one has a lot of holes as well. This is not nice. And this one, I remember I want to use it as a book hat. So let's see, another pepper. Oh, this is nice. I want to Put it like this. Ooh. You know what? Let's find something for our pocket here. That's nice. So I'll just cut this for this pocket. I'm really kind of weird. Like, how about if we just do something like this instead? And so so showing up a little bit is fine just cover this up like this yeah, this is fine and this side I don't really fancy of these holes here I like a landscape layout oh this is nice I like it Put it like this and then maybe use book pages later to fill the cap or maybe and laces as well. Just yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Either book pages or music sheets to fill the cap. And just put some book pages here. So this is done. And my last one for this first signature. Oh, this is, I'm totally going to cover this whole thing up because I really don't like this. this I think the color theme also is not going to work for this journal. So, yep, I can just cover it up like this. This is fine. Showing like that. And this side as well. Oh, that's really nice. How about if I use one seat like this, put it like this. Hmm. This is almost perfect. Another seat here. Maybe use something like this. And then use music seed to cover the rest. Something like this. But then you cannot really write on them because this and this digital is a little bit too busy. So I think one side I'm I want to use let's use this one and on the other side I will use another layout that has more like soft color that we can write on them there's not many left here it is this and these are fine and this one as well this. oh I like it so yeah so this will be like my first signature after i finished recording my thought process covering up the first signature 
I realized that the video was already 16 minutes long and I don't want this video to be too long so I decided to split it into two videos and then I work on the first signature I glued the pages just like how I told you and before that I remember that I have this vintage sewing pattern and since this journal will be sewing theme it's just so perfect to use it so instead of using book pages or music sheets I decided to use this and I put back all the scraps into the pile to be used for the second signature now let me show you what I have so far this is by no means is done because I still want to put laces and then sew around the edges and this is the first page of my second signature I put this leftover pepper from sugar linen or august rose and this from nana sewing room kit and the other set i keep it blank this i have these two corner pocket that covering the print i put this journal card on top of book pages that i'm going to sew around it and then put it on this page and sew around it again and the other set is blank and for this taco bell pepper bag after I put this paper, I realized that I don't really mind much about this print, so I'm going to keep it as is. And for this side, I decided to use this paper from Sugar Linen that I printed four pages in a sheet, use it as a tuck spot, and I put some collage here with the ephemera from Nana Sewing Room Kit. Again, I'm going to sew around it and then sew on this page as a top tuck spot. And on the other side, I put this pretty background from Nana's sewing room kit and then cover the bottom part with my sewing pattern with the print on the other side. So this can be used as a writing spot. And the next page, this will be a belly band. I'm going to sew around it and then put some collage here and this as the belly pen stopper so whatever I put inside here won't fall off because of this will stop it and I'm also thinking of sewing around the edges of this piece as well that's why I have included and the other side is blank and then on this side just put sewing pattern on the bottom and then this pretty paper from Nana sewing room kit on the side and this one bottom tuck spot I'm going to sew this and this one I'll include it and this left open as a tuck spot on the other side and on this side I have this open and this will be a trifold and I'm going to put lace here I leave it like this to cover up the print underneath and this will be like in the other side it will be leather like this and maybe I will put some collage leather this is the next page I don't know what's that just so plain this will be a writing spot and this can be used as a writing spot as well the next page is a side pocket I don't really mind about this so I'll leave it like is. and the other set is this pattern on the bottom and then this pretty pepper this is from sugar linen I put it on the middle and then can be used as a writing spot as well and this one I decided to make another side pocket cover it with the sewing pattern just so pretty and apparently this is a wedding dress pattern I didn't realize that until I glued it on this page and it's just perfect like this is from the sugar line and I feel like this digital fits so perfectly with this pattern so that's what I have this will be side pocket and yeah I just want to show this showing pattern this writing spot and this I keep it blank for writing spot and the other side is also blank and this one just for covering up this big pair here I will sew around it and again after that I'll just glue, not glue, I will sew around this page as well so that's what I have so far for the first signature and on the next video I will do the same thing show you my thought process of covering the second signature 
and then show you the result of the second signature. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting. Bye.